Ever since starting my break on September 15th, things have been pretty hectic and stressful. First, AdSense cancelling my account, then some family members having to go to the hospital, and then the computer issues. It just never stopped. At this point, thankfully, my family is out of the hospital. That's certainly the most important thing, and they're doing all right. And I'm cautiously optimistic that I have the computer back to normal. AdSense, eh, nothing I can really do about that one. Easy come, easy go, I suppose. However, after all this, I needed a vacation. And that's when I came to an important decision. I really need to fire my travel agent. Hello, Roar Mithril here once again, finally getting back to recording. I'm cautiously optimistic that the computer situation is taken care of now, and so it's finally time to get to Silent Hill 3, as this rather lengthy loading screen tells us. Yeah, this one can take a while. It probably also doesn't help that I'm doing this on a memory card with no Silent Hill 3 da uh, data at all. So, that might be part of this issue. It's thinking about it. There we go. And hey, it's Silent Hill, so of course parts of this game may be violent or cruel. Okay, we're just going to skip right to the title screen because, yeah, again, this does have an opening movie that kind of spoils some things, so we'll just skip that. Okay, let's have a look at the options. Set a few things there. Okay, subtitles on brightness level. Just for the purposes of recording, just so things look clearer, I'm going to go ahead and max that out. And control type, I do prefer 2D type. Yeah, it's tank controls, but it tends to be more controllable for me. Okay. So, let's go. We'll be going with normal action level, and again, since the puzzles like in Silent Hill 2 have different difficulties, we'll start with easy. This one's actually my favorite in the series, so I've really been looking forward to this one. Plus, it's just good to get back to recording. Lovely. And so, meet today's protagonist, Heather. Plenty of creepy bunnies everywhere. At the very least, we're armed. Now, the first time my mum and I played this game, we actually thought it glitched at this point. Because, I mean, just starting up a new game, we're suddenly in the other world with no explanation, and armed to the teeth. We have the flashlight and the radio. We have a knife, a steel pipe, a handgun, and a freaking submachine gun. 
Yeah. We also have one health drink, one first aid kit, and 30 handgun bullets. Unfortunately, as far as ammo, that's all we have, so no way of reloading the SMG. So, looking around a bit, we have these creepy bunny costumes here. A rabbit doll. No, it's a costume. Is there someone in there? It looks like there is, but I don't feel like making sure. It's a giant rabbit costume. Why would this be here? Yeah, meet Robbie the Rabbit. Kind of the de facto mascot of Silent Hill, beginning with this game, possibly even more so than Pyramid Head. Heck, he even fills in for the role of the game's data icon in the memory card browser. Hey, kids! Yeah. We also have these charming things. And what's this? Something strange in a cagey box thing? A person? Not quite. I don't really want to stare at it for very long, whatever it is. What the... And now to point out something new to Silent Hill 3. Yes, if you're not careful, you can actually fall off of platforms to your death. On easy difficulty, you don't have to worry about it. Those play more like the other Silent Hill games where you don't have to worry, and it's like pits just have invisible walls around them. On normal difficulty, if you walk toward a pit, you immediately lose your balance. Let go of everything, and you'll back off from it. However, on hard difficulty, you have to immediately press the opposite direction of the pit you just walked into, otherwise you'll fall right in. So with that, nothing else out here, so let's move on. What am I armed with, anyway? Yeah, you know, for now, that knife just isn't going to cut it. So we have here a double head, the basic dog of the game. Not the biggest threat we're going to have to deal with, though. I hear you. You're around here somewhere. There you are. This is a closer. Definitely want to stay away from them. Especially in tight quarters like this. Now, one thing worth noting is basically all weapons in this game have strafe ability. Considering that in Silent Hill 2 that was one of my favorite things about the plank, and the fact that now basically all weapons can do that, that's just wonderful. I am very happy with that. Okay, so then. Okay, that's where we came in. Can't go in there. There we go. Yeah, they don't really feel the need to give you a map for this place, unfortunately. There's a rabbit stuffed animal here. That's very awkwardly worded. There are boxes of cookies and chocolates on display. I love this kind of stuff, but I don't feel like eating it here and now. There's some normal souvenir-type toys here. Huh, never thought I'd say normal in a place like this. There are lots of different styles, but I don't really want any of them. I'm getting out of this nasty place. If they had any tools now, that'd be a different story. It's a row of shirts for sale. I don't think that'd help me at all. It's a rabbit stuffed animal here. That's even more awkwardly worded. <laughs> the mouth part is stained red. Almost like blood stains. Disgusting. And that's pretty much it for this area. There is a door back here. 
but the lock is broken. So pretty much all we can do is go back out the way we came in. Too much junk in the way there. Alright. May as well get some use out of this thing. Unfortunately, I believe that's already it for the uh, submachine gun. As usual, make sure to stomp your victims to keep them down. From here on in, though, we're just gonna run. And I'll tell you why as soon as we get in here. Yeah, you hear that grinding noise? That means run. That means another enemy type, the pendulum. The pendulum is so not worth fighting, and that's it spinning to the side there. Their blades can deflect your ammo, so shooting them from a distance doesn't tend to work very well. And there are some relentless little buggers, too. Also, if you shoot them, they have a habit of just flying dead aim right into you. You can melee them decently once they get down on the ground, but, uh... They're just really not worth fighting. I'd kind of equate them to the rompers from the original Silent Hill. But now it's time to run down the railroad tracks. What could possibly go wrong? Well, this for starters. Roller coaster! Yeah, and there we go. I suck at this game. Dead already. Or not. It was all a dream. What a nightmare. Waking up in a cafe after a nightmare? Seems kind of familiar, huh? No matter where you die in that little nightmare sequence, this is what happens. So if a monster kills you, if you fall in a pit, or if you even make it as far as I did, which is as far as you can go there and get run over by the roller coaster, it doesn't matter. You wake up here in this lovely little cafe. The Happy Burger, as it seems to be called. But we're not alone. 